Hey there, everybody. My name is Jennifer Scott, and I am a self-taught artist here in Chicago. And I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce myself or reintroduce myself and take you through the journey of my art, the evolution of my painting. Now, when I was a little girl, I loved drawing. I loved everything about it. I used the bottom stair of the staircase that took us to the second floor as my little desk. And I am absolutely certain that I drove my mom absolutely crazy. Every two seconds it was, mom, look what I drew. Mom, look at this. Mom, what should I draw next? And the great thing about my mom was she was always supportive. When I got into high school, I decided that not only did I want to be an artist, but I wanted to be an art therapist. But as life would have it, things happened and I did what was expected of me. I got a normal corporate job, nine to fiver or eight to six as they kind of were back then. A job with insurance because I had a family to raise and art took a complete back step. I didn't even think about it anymore because I was too busy doing what was expected of me. Then I got very ill and I was mostly bedridden with IVs in. And because of that, I asked my daughter to go in the basement and bring up some of my old art supplies so I could draw in bed. And I started out trying to express my symptoms and how I felt within my illness. So when I first started doing art, it was pretty dark. Most of my paintings were similar to this. Dark, depressed, sad. Some of it was pretty ugly. I call that phase my ugly art. Then when COVID struck, I decided to take on a new project and it was right around Lent in the Christian faith so I called it my resurrection series and what I did is every day for 40 days I would take a canvas from my canvas graveyard which was paintings that I didn't like or didn't finish and I just kind of shoved them under the table so every day I would grab one of those canvases and resurrect it into something new and because I had to work so fast doing one every day my style kind of loosened up. I started adding some texture. Here's an example of one of those paintings that I did during those 40 days. That's also when I decided I was going to do a yearly book. So the first book was called The Resurrection Series, obviously, and within it are all the photos of the paintings that I did for that particular series. I also decided at that time to go back and do a book called From the Archives. And these are any paintings that I did that had nothing to do with the series, but I also wanted to remember the paintings that I had done. So I just put together this quick little book. The next series I did was the one that I am most proud of. It is called Redemptive Beauty. And I attempted to personify nature into human emotion and experiences. I believe that humanity shares much of the same feelings and we go through very similar things. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to take a moment to take you through the book. Sometimes it's easier to share the book than the actual paintings because the varnish can be a little shiny to look at. So we started with emergence, coming out from the dark, growing toward the light. Turn Your Face was about how we find ourselves looking downward and that we need to turn our faces back to the light. We have Abide where we go down but we get back up again. I feel like a Chunga Munga song. <laughs> this one is called Set Apart. I don't know about you, but I spent most of my life trying to fit in and be like everybody else, whether it was how I acted, what I wore, what I did. But we were called to be set apart and bring light to the world. 
Now you might notice that one of the petals is not complete and that was not a Bob Ross happy little accident. It was done on purpose because no matter how far we have grown, we are never finished with our transformation. So some of the other paintings, break through, love one another, fellowship of the spirit, stand, set free, no more shame, let go and soar, anchored and unshaken, freedom in the light, an easier, softer way, which is actually one of my favorites because it tells a very personal story that I have already shared a few times. Praise, connected to the source, there is a solution. In this one, you can see that the butterfly has been freed and it's taking that opportunity to grow into the light and fulfill its purpose. Again, never completely done transforming. But then you'll also notice that this butterfly has been set free too, but it's been too afraid to soar because it's in its comfort zone. And I think a lot of us do that. We're free, but we don't move forward because we get stuck in a comfort zone. Now there are days where I have no idea what I want to paint. I just know I want to play with paint. And that is the days where many of my abstract pieces come out. Now I don't always have a story for my abstracts, but I'm sure there's something in there because there must be some emotion going on as I'm painting them. So I also did a book that contains all of my abstract work in angels. I call it abstracts and angels. But yeah, a whole book full of abstracts that I'm not quite sure why they were created, but they were for a purpose, I'm sure. Now this year, after coming through the darkness, after resurrecting things that were dead inside of me, after finally growing into the light and transforming into who I believe I was always meant to be, I'm finally able to see beauty in this world. Beauty that's always been there, but I did not appreciate it until I grew and transformed just a little bit. Still have a long way to go. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you a few of those pieces. So this year's work is called Appreciation of Creation. You'll see it's a lot of beautiful sunsets, some foggy mornings, more sunsets, a beautiful winter scene. This one's called The Road of Possibilities, and I love that. Even some cute little birds. So I'm sure as you may have guessed, there's going to be another book made this year called Appreciation of Creation. What I'm gonna do next year, who knows? I will be led. I'm hoping that next year I'll be able to not focus on particular subjects, but more about how to make those subjects express more emotion and a little more of what's inside because art is meant to provoke feelings. It's meant for connection, whether to the story behind the art or the art itself. So I'm really excited about the work that is coming in 2024, even though I don't know what it's gonna be yet. I am just so grateful for this journey. It has been extremely healing for me, very therapeutic. And I'm hoping that some of the stories behind, especially my Redemptive Beauty series, are stories that other people can connect to. Experiences that they've also gone through, maybe landscapes that remind them of somewhere that they've been, or maybe a place where they just want to be. So I thank you for letting me take a little time to have you get to know me or get reacquainted with me. I appreciate all the support and the encouragement that I have received along this journey, and I can't wait to share the rest of it with you. Thank you so very much. Have an absolutely beautiful day.